What is the one thing that you can control? Put your answers down in the comment section before we get into this video. What's going on guys, it's Chad here, Conservancy. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna hop into a video topic that came up on stream yesterday, um, or it was Friday, I believe it was. It was Friday during my stream. A viewer by the name of Rowan, um, shout out to you Rowan for posing this very interesting question in the, or sparking this very interesting discussion in the chat. And I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Now, just a couple of disclaimers here. I am by no means an expert on any terms of depression, feelings, etc., etc. I do believe that you should seek a medical professional if you so desire. But, however, I do believe personally that medication is not the way to to solve depression, or, or is not the way to handle depression. It also medication also suppresses a lot of your other emotions and other feelings I understand that some persons may have chemical imbalances in our brain in the brain however I do believe that everybody has chemical imbalances in their brain and there are other ways there are other Eastern med medication ways or Eastern medicine ways for you to handle those issues one of those being exercise and the one that I'm talking about today is the gym now, if you guys have looked up on TikTok and seen even guys like Andrew Tate have also mentioned um, going to the gym is something that you should do when you're depressed. And I agree with it. And um, Ryan was saying that it's not gonna work for everybody, but I strongly disagree. I believe that exercise in general is gonna work for almost anybody. And yes, there are persons out there that are lazy are not gonna do it, but with the right motivation, I believe that you can get it done. Now, if you guys like this topic, you'd like me to continue doing these sort of videos, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on bell notifications. You can follow me on my Instagram as well, and we can have a other discussion on there. And let me know what you guys think. Also, leave your comments down in the comment section down below so that I can see your guys' thoughts on the situation. Now, in the grand scheme of the world and in this universe, energy is something that cannot be destroyed or created. Energy is transferred from one form of energy to the next. So, therefore, with that, with that logic in mind, or with that um, scientific, what's the word, method in mind, all of the negative energy in the world can also be transferred into positive energy. Think about it. Your depression and your negative feelings about yourself, about everything that you've been doing, is a form of energy it's a form of something and if you're religious this is this is a very strong form of energy that a lot of persons think about if you are if you guys are religious and we think about things such as demons and negative spirits etc why do negative spirits are why are negative spirits attracted to other negative beings why do they continue to corrupt these people because these persons are easy to corrupt this person, once they see a little bit of negative energy, is going to attract a bunch of negative energy. Therefore, you could take your negative energy and transfer that into something positive, such as investing in your body. You start to feel good about yourself. Me personally, let's go back to 2019. 2019, I hated how my body looked. I was a bunch of negative energy. I, I, it started affecting other parts of my life, from school to my relationships, etc. From the time I started the gym, I started to improve in everything else. I started to improve in my discipline. I improved in my social life. I improved in my confidence with myself and my body. And if you guys can see my Instagram and stuff, I have so much more confidence in myself and how I'm presenting myself to other people. And that's an example of you turning your negative energy into something positive, into something that can be, can, can be the benefit of you. If we look at kinetic and heat energy in our combustion cars we turn that heat energy the combustion going on into kinetic energy so the car can keep going and those and when the car stops the kinetic energy from the momentum of the car is applied onto the brakes or the wheels and that creates heat that energy is transferred the same thing you can do with your negative emotions and negative feelings if you feel negatively about yourself find a way to address that for me personally it was a gym and was exercising for you it might be making music it might be painting it might be art it might be everything and i'm going to speak specifically to guys here we don't have as many ways of dealing with our emotions as girls usually 
Now, when I say that, I say that meaning we are not going to be able to handle emotions the same way that girls do. Girls can cry, etc. But society is going to look down on us if we cry and we be emotional or whatever. Do not believe this modern um, idea of men being able to cry and be vulnerable. It is false. They're going to use it against you. What you should do is take that, that all of that anger, frustration and create something. For me, I'm building my body. For me, I'm also creating YouTube. For me, I'm doing a bunch of different things. You guys go there and create. Some of you guys are amazing at carpentry. Some of you guys are amazing at music. Some of you guys are amazing at arts, craft, creating, building, different stuff. Find that thing for you that you can build and you can drive all of your negative emotions into. Your anger, frustration, self-doubt, um, anything that you want, y'all. Try to find something that you can put your negative emotions into. Think about this. Me personally, I've been doing YouTube. This is about two years I've been doing YouTube now. And I often get negative comments on my channel. You guys don't ever see it because I have them blocked, but I do see them. I check them every like six months or so. And it has drastically reduced once I started changing my mentality. It has been drastically reduced. The same amount, I had about 57 or so negative comments last year between September and December. Between February and now this year, I've had three. And that's a change in energy. I decided not to take on these negative persons. I decided not to take on the, the stuff that was going on and make and help and have that affect my mentality. So that's why I keep positive on stream and I try to stay as as positive as I can. Sometimes, yes, I might step up and get angry or say something out of pocket, the rain's about to fall. But it's a way for you to get those negative emotions out. Me personally, when I'm in the gym and I'm pumping that iron, it's a way for me to get all of my anger out. All I have so much built up anger and frustration and I get that out and I can see all of those results being built into my body. I'm a bit, I'm a stronger person, more athletic, and I look better. And in, in return, I feel more positive about myself. The rain's about to fall, you guys probably aren't gonna be able to hear me well, so um, we're gonna continue in a little bit. All right. The rain is kind of over, so we're gonna hurry up and finish this video. Um, but this is, this is more or less what I wanted to talk about. I do recommend 100% for at least the men out there. If you feel depressed, you've been heartburn, heartbroken, you feel frustrated at work, find some time to exercise. Find some time to hit the gym, especially if you can get a group of you guys together and just keep going with the workouts and keep going with your with getting yourself out to 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 you know build yourself you guys will have such a much better time handling your emotion you'll be able to sleep at night because you'll be so tired you can't even think about depressing thoughts you will be able to sleep at night make sure you have your hygiene good there's some kids in the background make sure you guys have your hygiene right make sure you guys drink some water make sure you guys continue to work on yourself because that is what we as men, I'm speaking of men specifically here, it's what me, we as men have to continue. I've seen so many guys who do not do the right things, who are in prison, who are on the street. Think about it, why do we have so many men on the street or in prisons, etc.? It's because we cannot handle our emotions. We cannot handle our emotions in the right way. We're trying to handle our emotions like girls. Society is not gonna 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 like that. Society does not like how we handle our emotions. So we have to change that. We have to go back to how we used to do it before. Men before they went to battle. We are not gonna do that nowadays. We have to change that into something better. So now what we do, we build businesses, we build our bodies, we build um, anything, we, we, we carpentry, we do, we build desks, we build computers, we build all sorts of different stuff. Me. I felt so bad about myself. I wanted to start YouTube. I wanted to start in, in, to take you guys on my journey of self-improvement. And that is what I've been doing. I mean, I, I've been kind of stacking on the videos like these, but that is what I've been doing. You build something. Once you start feeling that kind of way, you start doing something. Do something that you can do. You guys have a lot of talent. I see a lot of you guys who have a lot of talent. I know some guys who are great artists who can sing, who can draw, who can make graphics, who can even play video games. Look at everybody on Twitch or YouTube, etc. These guys are amazing at creating something. 
build something do what you need to do it's not just about necessarily the gym it's more about you putting your energy into something that negative energy into something and turning it into something positive that you can benefit from me benefit from the gym look at my body i benefit from the gym also look at my youtube look at where i came from in 2019 if you guys go all the way back into my videos look where i came from in 2019 till 2022 I'm a completely different person and I guarantee you in the next six months I'm gonna be a completely different person again I'm gonna be bigger I'm gonna be smart on YouTube gonna make better videos etc etc so I want you guys I'm gonna challenge you guys now starting today next six months I want you guys to start on the journey of building something between today and next week Sunday I want you guys to I want you guys to identify what it is that you're good at what are you gonna do to build I want to see you guys in the comment section let me know what you decide you're going to do for your building right once you guys have done that we're gonna count six months from now until the end of the year or let's let's do five and a half months this is it's about this is about mid-june right now july sorry five and a half months by the end of the year december 2022 i want to see a i want you guys to see a change in yourself this is very, very serious, y'all. We need to start taking back everything as men and as people in general. Even girls, you guys can do this too. Next six months, next five and a half months, next week, right now, I, this entire week, find the, the thing that you want to do to build on and you start building on it. Whether it be going into the gym on your body, that's an easy one. But for me, it was YouTube. I decided to start YouTube. If you guys want to do YouTube, start doing YouTube. Decide you're going to do it and then start putting down the steps in place for you to get that done. For me, on YouTube, I decided I wanted to get YouTube. I needed a PC. I went up, went and get a job, applied to 15 different places. And one of them at least hired me. You understand? I built my PC, bought my PC, started working, started watching YouTube videos on how to make videos, on how to get stuff, search engine optimization. Start educating yourself for this entire week how to do it. A lot of you guys are on summer vacation right now, so take some time out to do it. At least an hour a day. Just to just to do some research, just to get your side, get your guys' um, idea on what talents you wanna wanna do on, right? Have an idea on what your talent is. Then you start working towards getting that done. Okay? That's my challenge to you guys. Well, thank you guys for this video. Thank you to Rowan. Shout out to you, bro, for posing this very um, interesting topic. I hope that this kind of inspires you a little bit. And I hope that you can. Um, and I hope that uh, this kind of clears up the the discussion between me and you. No hard feelings, as, I, as we said in, in stream. I just wanted to give my thoughts. You give your thoughts, etc. I respect your decision. I respect what you said. And uh, yeah. But anyways, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you guys next time.